Today we are making another crumble copycat cookie recipe. We are taking the snickerdoodle cookie to the next level today and making the snickerdoodle cupcake cookie. What is up you guys? It is Carly here and you're officially cooking with Carly. Like I said, we are making the snickerdoodle cupcake cookie today. So let me tell you exactly what this cookie is. It is the softest, most deliciously warm and gooey snickerdoodle cookie. So that's like a sugar cookie with cinnamon and sugar inside of the cookie. And you like roll it in cinnamon and sugar before you bake it. And then it is topped with a cream cheese frosting, vanilla cream cheese frosting, and then sprinkled some cinnamon sugar on top of that. So all in all, this is bound to be a very delicious cookie. Let's talk about our ingredients for the cookie base. So the snickerdoodle cookie. We have butter here, just plain granulated sugar, no brown sugar in this recipe. We have vanilla, our eggs, all-purpose flour, some baking powder, and a little bit of cinnamon that is going to go right into this cookie dough. To start out, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. This is just softened, salted butter. You do want to use butter, not margarine. They are two totally different things. Your cookies will come out flat as pancakes if you use margarine. I don't have a garbage can over here. When you go to make this recipe in your kitchen, just head to the description below this video and hit the link there. It will take you directly to my website where you can find all of the ingredient amounts, specific instructions for this cookie, and you can print it out. Super nice and convenient for you. So the butter is in, let's pour the sugar in, and then we will mix this until it's nice and combined and fluffy. Now that the butter and sugar are all combined, we're going to add in the wet ingredients. So in this case, it's our three eggs and the vanilla. Can you crack an egg one-handed? Or is this a skill I only possess? I don't know. And the vanilla goes in. We're just going to mix this again until everything is nice and combined. You may need to stop and scrape the sides a bit just so everything can be nice and combined. It's looking a little bit lumpy right now and you don't want it to be lumpy. So I'm just going to scrape the sides really fast and then mix it one more time. It should be smooth. All right, that's much better. And now our dry ingredients are going in. So our flour, our baking powder, and the cinnamon. Now start off slowly here, and then once that flour starts to be incorporated to the cookie dough, you can pick up the speed until everything is mixed together and your dough has formed. cookie dough is done. It should be pretty soft, but definitely not sticking to your fingers, not sticking to the bowl at all. So here is our dough. I'm going to pull out some cookie sheets and we're going to get to separating the cookie dough out and then we can get them into the oven. Now these cookies are a little unlike my other ones because we're only going to use one third cup of dough, not about a half a cup. Um, these cookies will spread and expand quite a bit, so we only need one third of a cup of dough instead of the half cup. So I'm just going to scoop these out, fill up that one third of a cup of dough, and I'm going to roll them into a ball and just separate them all out. And then once they're all separated out, we're going to press some cinnamon and sugar onto the outside and then form them into a hockey puck like this, and then we will bake them. So let's portion all of these out really fast. Okay. 
If you're a fan of cookies, go ahead, subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot of cookie recipes already for you and a lot more coming. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, like the video if you're enjoying it, if you're gonna make these cookies and comment below and tell me what your favorite crumble cookie recipe is and I'll add it to my list of cookies that I need to recreate. So you wanna make 12 cookies here and I have a little bit of extra dough. So I'm just going to add a little bit to each one of these cookie dough balls just so they're about the same size but they're all a little bit bigger too. So I'm just going to mix up my cinnamon and sugar here that we're going to roll these cookies in. Got just a half cup of sugar here, putting in a little bit of cinnamon. We'll mix it together so that way we can finish up these cookies before they get into the oven. And again, all of the ingredient amount for this and the frosting will be on my website. So after this is mixed up, I like to set some aside just to sprinkle on top of the cookies after. So I'm just going to pull out a little bowl and pour some in just to save for after the cookies are done. Set that aside for now. So like I said, these cookies will spread. So you're only going to wanna to put six cookies onto each tray because they will spread and you don't want them running into each other. So just put them into a ball like this and really press the cinnamon and sugar all over the outside of this cookie dough. And then we're just going to flatten until it's like a hockey puck, like this. And then arrange it on the cookie sheet. These cookies are now ready for the oven. They're going to go in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And then when we pull them out, we're going to make this frosting and get these cookies finished. The cookies just came out of the oven and my kitchen smells so good. I'm gonna bring them over here and we can put our frosting on and we can talk about the frosting too. Let me grab the cookies. Here are the cookies. They smell so good and they are perfect size for our crumble copycat cookies. I'm just gonna pull a couple of them off here so we can put this frosting on. The cookies are warm. They've got that cinnamon and sugar all over them. This is a vanilla cream cheese frosting. I have a separate video for this recipe if you're interested in learning how to make it and watching that video i will link it in the description below for you in here is just cream cheese butter powdered sugar and vanilla there's a little bit of milk to thin it out but that's all and it is so good so right on to these warm cookies we are going to pipe this on in a swirl and then sprinkle with a little extra cinnamon and sugar and these cookies are going to be done so start in the center and just swirl it out. So this is the copycat recipe for Crumble's Snickerdoodle Cupcake Cookie. It is soft, it's sweet, it's absolutely delicious. So if this one was one of your favorites, definitely make this copycat recipe. You are going to love it. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, that's good. That tastes like a cinnamon roll. Mm hmm. Yep. 10 out of 10 would recommend.